I go to him time, there's good singing there, a great song, God's able to do anything. And welcome to an evening with Dan Heyman and all these country hymn timers. We're looking forward to a good time today, and glad you tuned in. Yes, sir, we're going to get right on into the music and uh, see who we have coming up next. And Sandra, all right, Sandra yes. Wise, what do you got for us, I'm Sandra? happy with you, Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm happy with you, Lord. I'm happy with you, Lord. I hope you're happy with me. I'm happy with you, Lord. I'm happy with you, Lord. I'm happy with you, Lord. I hope you're happy with me. to think about me and your mercy has lifted me up I'm happy with you Lord I'm happy with you Lord I'm happy with you Lord I hope you're happy with me I'm happy with you Lord I'm happy with you A brand new day I'm happy with you, Lord I'm happy with you, Lord I'm happy with you, Lord Are you happy with me? I'm happy with you, Lord I'm happy with you, Lord I'm happy with you Happy with me. Hey, hey, I like that song, Sandra. Yeah. <laughs> Are you happy with me, Lord? Because I'm happy with you. It works both ways, doesn't it? Yeah, that's a new song I've never heard of before. So, all right. Thanks a lot, Sandra Wise. And, and... This is an evening with Dan Hamer and all the country hymn family and all you folks tuned in out there, the TV sets. And uh, we're going to call on Debbie Dodd or Debbie Sutton or Sam? I'm Sutton? sitting today. Okay. I um, kind of, I don't know if I was doing something wrong, but I felt a pain in my leg, and so I thought... Well, maybe I better give it a rest. But you all pray for me, which I know you do. God has answered so many prayers for me. And I want the Lord to be happy with me, Sandra. I really enjoyed that song. And I know He loves me, and He loves you. And I want you to Listen to the words, and if you know it at home, join in with me, singing, He Loves Me. Let us tell them, too, Debbie has a, a DVD, 11 songs on there, and it was taken from our TV programs, and it's very spiritual, and some of the finest songs that Debbie sings, so uh, you tell them how they can get a hold of them, Debbie. Well, if anybody would like one, you can call 
area code 740-388-0539. And if I'm not home, leave me a message and your address. And, and uh, um, they're $10 if anybody would like one. And I appreciate Uncle Dan recording it for me and surprising me with the cover. He called me and picked out some songs for me. And, and I was wanting my mom yeah, and my so. sister, Diane, <laughs> on the recording. Shut up before they can see it. If anybody they, can they see it. If anybody remembers my mom. Her name was Hilda. Oh, I don't know which angle. But she truly loved the Lord. Yeah, three or four songs on the Bible McDaniel yeah. and never does rest on herself. So you'll enjoy that.
say thank you to some special neighbors down the street from my house that have kept my driveway cleared with all this deep heavy snow yeah after every snow the neighbors two special gentlemen took care of my driveway and i appreciate you gentlemen if you're watching the program good neighbors god bless me with and i also have a dvd that uh, i will talk about later i don't want to take it away from um uh, Debbie's. Well, so get both of them. Well, get both of them. I'll talk about it in a little while. So, I, but Debbie, you you've got a special special thing there. So, Debbie, yeah, I want to thank all the people that sent me a birthday card. I appreciate it and I love everybody. And I'm just thankful for everybody that gave me sent me a Christmas a Christmas card, <laughs> birthday card. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still back at Christmas. Merry Christmas, Sandra. <laughs> This morning when I prayed, I just had to thank God for another new day. Yes. That he let me live and to how I've enjoyed life and, and how he's blessed me through life. And I prayed for the hymn timers and the program as we made the program and, and how God would bless us to bless you folks out there. And then we yes. want to bless Jesus yes. because yes. of all he's done for us. So that's on my mind today. I just appreciate the Lord because he's so special to us. And our song is Sailing Toward Home. Heading that way, friend. I 
I stood upon a sandy bank looking out across the ocean. I watched the ships come sailing in to rest beside the shore. The friends of those aboard her were gathered there to meet them. It made me long for heaven where friends will part no more. I'm sailing toward home on the old ship of Zion. I see the lights upon the bank across the misty foam. Now daddy sailed the seas of life He knew the storms I'd weather But he told me of the Savior yeah, Who could chart my destiny Now the misty veil has lifted I can plainly see the harbor and daddy's standing on that bank to smile he'll be there to welcome me i'm sailing toward home on the old ship of zion i see the light up on the bank across the misty fall Good job, girls. Hey, man, yeah. <laughs> Captain, guide my ship. Yeah, fly, get home. Sailing towards home. And home, where? That's in heaven. Praise God, the place that we're striving for. Girls sound good on that song. Good spirit, good harmony. All right, let's just keep the good news rolling out your way by the way of gospel music. And uh, Cheryl Knight, she's up next. Let's see what Cheryl has. I'd never miss heaven for the world. Yeah. Beyond the borders of time, there's a beautiful land. The world.
God means more than this brief glittering day. I'd never miss heaven for the world. Father, we pray tonight that whatever us little people can do to bring a blessing to all the people out there that do watch the program, we pray, dear Lord, for all the ones that don't know you, that they will give their life to you. It don't always have to be in church. You can do it sitting in your car. Whenever God sends a little message to your heart knocking, please, please answer his not can let him in that you can come and go to heaven with all of us country and timers and all the ones that it's going on before what a day it's going to be when we're all joined together and we all go up in that cloud yeah. to be with our Jesus dear Lord we thank you dear Lord for all the many years that the country and timers has been with people through the radio and the TV and dear Lord we pray that every day that we always will do what you'd have us to do. And this we thank you, dear Lord. Amen. Amen. And uh, speaking of that day, this is one of my favorite books, chapters. And I think it goes along with everything I've been singing today. Revelation chapter 21, starting with the first verse. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, <laughs> new Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven prepared as a bride adorned for her husband and I heard a great voice out of heaven saying behold the tabernacle of God is with men and he would dwell with them and they shall be his people and God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make 
all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. And I will give unto him that is the thirst of the foundation of the water of life freely. He that ever cometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be <laughs> my son. <laughs> <laughs> but praise the Lord I'm looking for that day yeah. every night when I go to bed I think of that and then I say dear Lord please hold me and he does and uh, we thank all you people that do watch the program I know a lot of people do they don't always write but we would like to get a letter you know and uh you get up here and all, all your brain goes out the door to all these people that say, please tell everybody I watch the program, but all you people that spot us, we don't have good memories anymore. <laughs> but uh, thank you again, and uh, God will be with you until next week. All right, thank you, Sharon. <clears throat> That's Sharon with the Bible and leading us in prayer. That was, that was a good prayer. All right. Well, my better half, she is up next, and this is Faith Heyman, and uh, I like this song she's going to do, and she's been working on it for a while, and she likes it too, and I know you folks up there will enjoy it. All right. Faith, what's up? Love and Grace. Love and Grace. Well, that's a good title. Yeah. <laughs> Stray from time to time, light my road and show the right way. By your love and grace, I survive. It's so good to know you're always there. You're just one prayer away when I feel so far away from you. I've got some uh, thank yous. Dan got a birthday card. He likes them any time. His birthday box is in November, and she said, I think I missed it. So they don't get to watch the program anymore. 
It's George and Sue G. from Whitman, West Virginia, and she ordered um, a tape of the program so she can see what we look like and say hi to her and everything like that. So, And we have been praying for him. Uh, we had told about his eyes, and I asked him about it, and he said, they're doing lots better. Thanks for the prayers. Okay. So, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Archie Oxley sent uh, Dan and I a little gift and an anniversary card. They live in Hurricane, and they watch us on the Internet. So, thank you, and I enjoyed talking with you the other night. Uh, Dan and the Hymn Timers, thanks for the wonderful music. Basil Cruz, and thank you for your gift. Uh, Junior and... Is that when they, he, he sent that January the 25th? No, Yeah. And we just we just got about three weeks later. Or so. Yeah, from Hurricane. <laughs> Snail mail. <laughs> okay, Charlie and uh, Patty Dixon from South Charleston from the Internet. Thank you for your gift. Love you. And Debbie, you've got to sing this song. And I forgot we did it last week. Going home for Dorothy Coleman from Carol Duddy. She wanted me to sing it. And I don't sing it, so I said. Debbie might not like it if I sing her song. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. <laughs> okay. Uh, the Kleins, Onda and Jean, thank you for your gift. Very faithful. Lawrence Bachman, thank you. And look at all these pretty things he makes on the on these envelopes yeah. he sends. We enjoy that, Lawrence. Yes. Thank you very much. Stand by like you do. And thank you, Lona Wamsley, for your uh, gift and for your card, and always enjoying talking to her on Monday evenings. And Jackie Lee, thank you for your gift, and we love you, and she wishes everybody, the Hem Timers, a happy new year. Okay. All right, thank you, Faith. All right. Yeah, that was a good song. Good song, enjoy that. And, uh... All right. Well, it's time now to ask on the program, what time is it? Come forth, Daniel. That sounds like Charlie and Dan time. Am I right? You're right. <laughs> Say hello to all of you out there in TV land. Uh, Dan's coming. Charlie, ask his hymn time if they love the Lord. Do you love the Lord, Debbie? Yes. Yes. Do all of you love the Lord? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> now we know, don't we? We know. Well, yeah, we knew before that. Yes, we did. Okay. Well, Charlie, this is the last uh, Monday in February. I remember telling you, I said, boy, I'll be glad when February comes. When we're in January. <laughs> I kind of like take that back. <laughs> take it back. <laughs> it's, we grumble about the weather when it's so bad, but you know, if it gets to be 95 for, uh, to 100, we'll be grumbling again, won't we? Wouldn't it be some way if you just take a little capsule and, and just fill that thing full of real cold? Yes. And then comes summertime, open that capsule up and just let it cool the whole house. Turning loose about out. July or August? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> same thing in winter, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Summertime when it's about 95 or 100, put the same little caps out there and fill it full. <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't invented something like that, aren't you? <laughs> well, I suppose. They invent everything else. Yeah. You know, so. But God still... He's on the throne. He's on the throne. He's uh, taking care of everything. And taking care of me and you and everybody else. And... and uh, it's good to know him. Good to know him. He is the Prince of Peace, Charlie. Yeah. Prince of Peace. Can't complain how he's took care of me over the years. No. We'll never have that real peace unless we have Jesus in the heart. Amen. It takes him. It takes him. So. It just makes chill bumps run up and down, doesn't it? Glory bumps. Why? Yeah, yeah glory down. bumps. <laughs> The chill bumps and then go away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, well, we're not too far from 17th of March, so 
Next week's going to be March. Yeah. But you don't plant your potatoes on the No, side. I don't. Yeah, wait about that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, wait, wait till the water, weather warms up a little. <laughs> yeah. Do you have anything else? Yeah, about? we have a, have a reading here, Dan. Well, I, I never know where you may have something else before you have your reading, but... Uh, so. No, that's about it. Boy. Charlie Wise. Here we go. <laughs> An evening prayer. Lord, once again, it's time to rest. I thank you for this day. Touch me now with quiet grace and wash my sins away. Father, as I put my task aside till morning's early light, give me strength to see them through the wisdom to do them right. Jesus, stay beside me through the night, your loving bird will keep, that I may wake to a new day, bright, refreshed from blessed sleep. God, let my body be renewed, my mind released from care, my hands at rest from daily toll, and in my heart this evening prayer. Love you all out there in TV land, and just keep those cards, letters, emails, and phone calls coming in. Thank you, Charlie. Charlie Wise. That's good. That's good, Charlie. We enjoy everything you do. All right. Uh, we'll have Debbie sing, but before she sings, and she's getting ready to do that, uh, Sid and I are going to play an instrumental, and uh, it's called Father Alone. Be flat. Yes, yes, that is the main thing 
You know, sometimes we don't hit every note right when we should. But if the Lord's in it, it sounds beautiful. But they, God has blessed Dan and Sid and them with a wonderful talent. And I'm glad they're using it for the Lord. I keep praying all the time. <laughs> Ewington Church um, gave me an organ in which Uncle Dan came out and played it. And I think it's the best it's been played every time I get at the organ. I just say, Lord, if you just touch my hands, you know, I try to sound the songs out, but I like to play more than one finger at a time. But you know, someday in heaven, I believe the Lord will let me play the organ. I love music. I love the gospel music. That's my favorite. <laughs> I don't even know if I can even sing. God has been so good to me. So good. Like Evelyn said, he woke us up this morning. He didn't have to wake us up. He didn't have to give us the eyesight to see where our shoes was. But he did. And we truly need to concentrate on giving God praise for every little thing that He does. In the Bible it says, give praise unto the Lord. So I want to praise my Lord yeah. today. He does everything for me. He lets me hear those birds outside my window. And I got a kick the other morning. I seen all these birds out off of my porch. Marvin had threw some food out and there they were tons of birds and they was just down in this deep little valley and I, I went and got my camera and I just started taking pictures and then I just see them and then more would come and then I wondered what else could I take out there so I had some leftover spaghetti and Marvin threw that out I said well throw it close to where they were because I, I God just gave me a blessing just to watch those birds. And then pretty soon there, well, come on, he was the brave one. I don't know what, if he knew what it was, but he come. And I, I got so tickled, my heart started pounding. I told Marvin, I said, I believe he thinks that's a worm. <laughs> I do. I thought he, cause he, he would, just like you'd see him eat a worm. And then all once the other birds was looking at him, and then one started coming up, and then another, and then, and then the one I thought was getting kind of grouchy with his food, he just kind of flittered them away, you know, like you see sometimes chickens. But, you know, I even looked at the setting on this camera, and all, I said, oh, if I could just catch that, you know, uh, the beauty of the wings in flight. And, you know, the Lord let me get one of them pictures with the bird with its wings spread out. And what a blessing. I can't wait to get it copied at the store. And I know I'm rattling, but God, God puts it in me, and I got to tell it, whether it's in church or if it's at home, and I rattle. But you have to know that I appreciate my God. I appreciate Him. And I got to drive the other day. And you know, the Lord blessed us with a vehicle, and my husband had to drive his mom's car, and, and going up the road we've started singing how great thou art together and how good how great God is but then coming down the road I was by myself just me and the Lord and I start singing that song and then all once I looked in the mirror and I said why is he back so far why is he back so far I said I better slow down and I looked down and I, and I the police well they done seen me and heard me. I was going 80 miles an hour. And I was just singing how great they were. And I just kept going and I just tried to slow it down. God slowed me down. He made me look to see where Marvin was. And then on up the road a couple miles there was a highway patrolman. He didn't stop me. I know he probably clocked me somewhere on his gadgets. 
But God was watching over me. He really was. He was watching over me every minute of the day. He watches over me and he watches over you. And we got to start giving God praise. Yeah. Give him praise. The more you thank him, the happier it makes him. And you know, the more you praise him, it seems like more the blessings flow. More blessings come down. Just listen to the words and pray that it might be a blessing or a help to somebody. Touch the hand of the Lord. I'm 
I know make him right It'll ask him to forgive me For the things I've done wrong Gonna have a little talk to Jesus Tonight when I get home This world can be struck Just live day to day You'll run into the devil Every step you take I've seen his face a hundred times As he tried to lead me home But he don't understand that I don't walk this road alone Gonna have a little talk with you When I get home tonight Gonna tell him all about my trouble I know it makes it right It'll ask him to forgive me For the things I've done wrong Gonna have a little talk with Jesus Tonight when I get home Linda's got a dedication. Yes, I'd like to send this song out to uh, Sally Ross. She recently lost her dad. So, Sally, if you'll just pay attention to these words, it's my message to you. If I could count the tears that have fallen Cheers will never stop. 
the heart will never break anymore. No, the heart will never break anymore. Never break anymore. Oh, I thank you, girl. Praise the Lord. Yeah, do that, folks. And this has been an evening with Dan Heyman and all these country hymn timers. Yeah, testimonies, singing, music, and everything. Praising the Lord. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll catch you back this way next time. Bye-bye, neighbor. Call him up.